done this accurate drow, and I learned a little bit more about housing requirements. I've never really played around with making like a minimum sized house, so I didn't really know how it worked. Um, let's see, I think it was six tall, ten wide. Yeah, that's what it was. And also, uh, the door opening inward counts, so that's kind of weird, but yeah. One, two, three, four. So that's a one, two, three, three, and I'll count that. So six, seven, eight, nine. work and then I finish off the house with some walling. Yeah, you can actually have some room with uh, just not having a wall. It's got um a few requirements. One of the requirements is um I think hmm there we go. The obvious nature of this being a house, obvious by the fact that damn guy took it. There we go. Yeah. I I thought I had the right height, because I know I've done minimum height before. And it's just enough for a door and a torch above the door. But I hadn't really thought about how wide. And let's see. Uh, I'm going to need room for a bed. That doesn't leave much room right there. Can I fit a... Furnace. No? How big is this, anyway? Does it fit? Okay, yeah, it is. do it I'm out of them <laughs> it's like why can't I place more oh I'm out oopsie no there okay there. how tall is a bed though I don't know hmm well if a bed's only one tall I've got it set up There we go. Let's see. I don't know if I reach everything from here. Do I get the uh, regular crafting options? Yeah, okay. So yeah, this should be good enough. Actually, I could use a chest. Let's see if I can fit the chest on top of that. It's not a three wide as well, is it? No, it's not. So I should be able to place the chest on... Yep, there we go. That's a nice little house! <laughs> well, let's see what's in here. Um, you know what? That is something I should, I should go work on. Copper sword until... 
Well, okay, that's another thing I should work on. Actually, I should have the crafting room be over here, and then make a housing... Come here, foul demon type. You're gonna kill me. Yep, you killed me. Hi. My head was removed by a demon eye. Okay. When do I respawn? Oh, snap. Um. I need a bed. That's embarrassing. <laughs> It's like, oh, by the way, you destroy your own house when you spawn. Have fun! <laughs> if you build right where you spawn, that's really easy to do. Or at least that's my excuse. end up collecting a number of those things. Speaking of housing, has he moved back in? Yeah. Greedy little monkey he is. Always moving into my house, as I tell you. Nope. Nope. Shift click puts them there. What's control? Control click doesn't do anything. Okay, how about alt click? Alt click doesn't do anything either. Okay, it all fits in one stack, so that's fine. I should really get a better weapon at some point. That's a good... What did I... Oh, cool. Speaking of better weapons, uh, can I make a broadsword? Sword. It's not a short sword, and it does 7 melee damage. What's in here? That does 5. So whatever happens, that's a vaguely better weapon, I guess. So that can go there, and the wood, it all fits there. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, it's a weapon I can actually use. Hmm, come to think of it, I really shouldn't put those there. Oh well. Actually, hmm, if I built the one thing the one way, that'll... I'll just build it over this way. Now the question is, where do I start exploring? <sighs> At night. Click fast. Why is it keeping away the demon eye now? Before the demon eye was just like, oh hi. Okay, never mind. There we go. Heals. I have him. Exploring at night. I have it. That's right, that place didn't really go anywhere. Wait a second. That's copper. I'm low enough on the uh, item tree that copper's actually worth something. Hi ho, hi ho. I'm not singing the rest of that song.
I'm I'm kind of just silenced because it's like I had to mine copper. I've copper. It looks pretty. It's like I guess that's one thing I can say about it. Looks pretty. Yeah, the eye seems to have a slight bit of trouble getting to me. Scratch that, the eye has no trouble getting to me. Yay, it drops health. What's it look like up there? Okay. Can I get close enough to uh, slack them? Without falling in? No, okay. Well. Hello, zombies in a pit. Oh, hey, uh, this looks like it could be a dangerous fall. And, uh, dangerous in general because I can't see anything. Oh, chest. Hoop slime. <laughs> there we go. What's in yawn chest? Aglet. Doesn't do anything, so, you know. Health, bottles. Oh, that's nice. Loot all. I said I want to loot all. There we go. Now that's everything. <laughs> Place a torch, break a pot. Why not? Oh, yes. Lots and lots of stuff. I remember when pots weren't that common. There we go. I'm glad there's a lot of slimes at this point. Later on, I can be angry at them. I'm not exactly trying to be efficient with this exploration, but still no need to waste torches. Mostly because that would annoy me. It's like I've watched enough people waste torches in videos. I can, I can avoid it myself. It annoys me so. I just want to place it where I stand. I can place it there. I can jump to it. I can place it there. I can jump to it. Okay. That's one thing I like about it. The base place distance is enough so that if you place it, you can jump on it. Of course, I'd rather prefer the, uh... Ooh, another chest. Better jump distance, mind you, but... Can't have everything. Lots of healing potions. Let's see, copper bars, that's nice. Uh, nimble blowpipe. Oh, joy. As long as I have that, I'll be knocking seeds around.
Luta. Let no chest be left behind. It's my new initiative. I'm like a president now. And my initiative to actually get stuff done. Oops, did I say that? Don't worry, I'm American. I'm allowed to rag on our politics. Every block of copper I mine with the intention of using it for an actual item makes me slightly sadder. Well, not weapon. I, I had a copper weapon. It's like I... Unless the broadsword's better than I remember. Is that copper I need? Yep, that was copper. It looks pretty, though, so it's like I'll probably end up using it later on for uh, decoration or something. Now that, that's the stuff. Oh, hey, slimes. It's like, oh, slimes, uh, yeah. No, oh, come on, let me place it there. Can I place a block? No? Okay. No, not where I want to place block. Not thinking about how I'd get back. Brilliant! There we go. Problem solved. Nothing I can see up there. Lots of things that annoy me down here, but that's beside the point, right? Oh, that's useful. I like the fact that torches dropped on the ground, the ground provide light. Because it's like, I don't have to actually go there first. Oh, and I think I might do stuff with that. Oh, I got blank room. Just draining a little bit of water. So that's not connecting to rocks, that's something important. It's like it doesn't connect to rock, it must be important. Though I, except for that starting thing of iron, I've been vaguely not as lucky as I could be. There's copper in there, so... Let's see... Why can't I place it there? Oh! Okay. And that's a trap. They're annoying, by the way. Haha. -ha. like, why can't I place it there? Rah! Oh, it's a trap. <laughs> At least it's not the one kind of trap. Those are, uh, more of a death trap. Rock falls, everyone dies. <laughs> Is that exactly? It's, that, that's the trap. Rock fall, everyone dies. It's like there's no other way to explain that trap. Rock fall, everyone dies. How far up can I place this? Right, I need to actually...
actually uh, support it on something. That's always annoying. One more. Awfully convenient. By convenient, I mean not at all because now I can't get back up there, but you know. Oh, hey, iron below me. Okay. There we go. I can move the, uh, Looks like I found some more. It's not attaching to rock, so it must be something good. <laughs> Silver. Just a little bit, but, you know, every little bit counts. Exactly there. Nice. I'm a little persnickety with placing things, but that's right. I wonder if you can make that thing can get to me. No. Okay, yeah, I can jump up. Oh, hey. Place where I probably can't just jump up to it. Huh? Let's jump down. How far can I place it? I can place it there. Can I jump on top of that? I can jump on top of that. It's all good then. I wonder if a door can support sand. Because I don't have access to actual traps. Mind you. Because that'd be an amusing trap. Sandfall trap. Of course, you can always just use the boulders, mind you. set of, have a full set of, uh, every type of armor. Because that will require quite a bit, especially the, uh, hard mode stuff. Oh! Huh. Yes, I, I like this. This seems like a good area. 
like copper? What copper? I, I like gold. I'm gonna have a gold pick. It's like, oh, gold. Gold pick, got it. Hmm. My god, I guess depending on how far I want to go with a the idea of a set of armor could really uh, increase playtime because it's like the uh, end gear stuff. I'd basically need to make two sets of it because the very end, the uh, hollowed armor, or whatever it is, uh, to make the ultimate armor, you need the uh, you need one of each the previous armor and uh, well, there it is. It's not exactly an easy thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like it's just a land over there. Well, I think that's a good point to return to the surface. And, uh, fight times, apparently. Come on, bounce down. Aim, aim, important aim. Get out a weapon that can actually hit it. I don't need to fight anymore. It's not that important to me. Oh, hey, there's water over there. Dang it, worm! You're following me. Get out of my personal space, man. It's dark outside, I can just hear it. Okay, did the worm go away? Yeah, I think the worm went away. Oh. <sighs> I tried to get it. Come on, worm. Stop doing that. Dang, I still got a few. Shark hands to the rescue! Let's get out of here before another worm comes up. There we go. Now let's get out of here. Problem is, I heard zombie noises up, so I'm assuming it's nighttime. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming so. Why can't I can't just. Oh, because it's a normal dirt type background, even though I didn't place it. I guess it counts or something.
There we go. Now I can get out without even going over there. That's to me. Oh. Yes, I have a better sword, but I'm using a pick because it lets me auto hit and it knocks me back. There we go, sword's out. Another thing about it, it doesn't hit them back too far. And it's quicker. Small knock back with quick fire. Important. It takes a little bit longer, but it's safer. Oh, come on. Am I gonna basically just stand here farming zombies? That's right, just ignore me. Go down that way. And then don't figure out how to come back up. Because I don't know... E oh, there we go. I... Definitely need to get working on my elevator at some point. Here, zombies, zombies, zombies. Oh, that's a lot of zombies, zombies, zombies. is going to be a little bit longer because I want to end it when I get back home. And this is probably a little bit boring except apparently it's an easy way to farm zombies early on. Find the right spot. Click button. I need to basically get them dead so I can jump over. If I can make it. I don't think I can make it, actually. Um, oh, I can make it. Okay, cool. Can I make it up there? Not really. Yeah. Didn't mean to do that. forgot there for a second that I was suddenly using the sword again. That would have been uh, annoying. Let's see, I can get up there. Can I get up there from here? Not quite. So I'll have to put a wood platform. Yeah, I thought it was nighttime out there. The fact that I had an unending stream of zombies kind of tipped me off. Oh yeah, that's right. If I can jump there, zombies can too! Now I'm kinda stuck here. Health. No, no zombies, no. Oh, how much life do I have left? How much time do I have on that timer? Answer! Not enough. There we go. They can't get to me here then. I think. They can jump pretty high, apparently. <laughs> how far up can I? Oh, I, I think the sound changed. Is that good or bad for me? Um, I think that means it's daytime. I don't know, though.
maybe instead of trying to hardcore parkour move me out of there, just uh, build over here. I keep pressing E to try to uh, jump, or open my inventory. Why would I jump a V? That's completely senseless. But yeah, it looks like it's uh, daytime out here. New thing. Open that up. It's now a zombie trap. There we go. Now let's get back home and then finish up this episode. Because I think it's gone a bit longer than I would have preferred. Hey, the guide actually made it into my house. I'm mostly looking for uh, the thing that lets me set my place now. So, yeah, this is Zachary Drenner, and I'm signing off.